Hello everyone, welcome back to Updev channel. With today's video, we are starting up the new playlist to know the details about the Spring Boot security. Okay, in today's video, we will talk about the overview of the security features and the features that are provided by the Spring Boot to implement the security or to secure your microservices application. In the subsequent videos, we will try to implement those features that are offered by the Spring Boot. Okay, so uh, in any real world application, right, for any feature to implement, we develop the feature, we also do the quality testing of that feature, we do the performance testing of that application. So we always ensure the quality of the feature or the quality of the application, performance of the application, that's it. Along with that, we also have to ensure how secure your application is. Because even though your application is uh, developed with very high quality code and high quality features without any bugs and all, with minimal bugs, and your perform application is performing much better even with the uh, high concurrent users, but there are some security flaws in your application. If there are some security flaws in your application, then hackers will try to exploit not only your application, but also your infrastructure. So uh, it will eventually lead to your infrastructure will be going down, where your application will be going unusable state, and the database that is having your customer data will be compromised and will be available to the illegal users so if we don't implement the security or if you don't implement the prevention measures for your to to your application to prevent the security attacks then even though your application is performing well your application will be going into unusable state even though your application is built with high quality code okay so uh, that is the importance of the security so coming to i mean if we are having a, a comparison between security and the performance of your application right suppose if by implementing a feature that prevents the security attack and that by implementing that feature if the performance or the response time of your microservice will be a, going to be increased by half second to 700 or 800 milliseconds then uh, we should be going ahead with uh, implementing that uh, security okay because uh, at the end of the day if we are comparing the security and the performance of a microservice or an application we have to go ahead and implement this feature that supports the security even if the performance is degrading uh, by minimal number of milliseconds like 500 700 800 milliseconds okay so that important the securing your microservices or the securing your application okay so now let us go to the features that are provided by the spring boot okay so these are the couple of features that are provided as part of the spring boot security module like uh, if you want to uh, authenticate your microservices authentication feature is provided authorization feature is provided security attacks like uh, csrf click checking all those features are provided that we can uh, implement them in our microservices to secure to authenticate the request to authorize the request coming in and also to prevent the security attacks like csrf and all okay so uh, in the subsequent videos we will try to implement uh, all these features okay so the moment uh, i mean we, if we want to develop any microservices application we have the uh, starter web dependency right suppose uh, if you want to do the unit testing of your application you have the starter test dependency suppose similarly if you want to develop the jpa or the database related activities starter jpa dependency is there in spring boot similarly if you want to provide the security to your to microservices application we have the starter security uh, 
starter dependency, security starter dependency is there. So the moment you configure the security starter dependency in your microservice application, so security will be provided by default, like the authentication will be provided by default to your application. Spring Boot framework is going to create a login and login logout forms for your application. And every request that is coming to your microservice URLs will be intercepted by the Spring Boot security framework and will be redirected to the login form the moment you added the security starter dependency. This is how it is. Okay. So this is my microservices uh, application running with a different set of URLs. The moment I add the security starter dependency to my application, the request will go through this kind of security filters suppose if i configure the the suppose if i added the security dependency authentication filter comes into picture and uh, every request will be intercepted by the authentication filter and will, the user will be redirected to the login form which is by default provided by the spring boot security module once the authentication is successful i mean the spring boot security framework itself is providing by default one username and password so uh, during the container startup so we have to log in with that user id password once the authentication is failed i mean it is going to uh, validate the credentials also so the credentials validation is also being done users are being created given by the spring boot security module and also the login and logout forms are also given by the security module once the authentication is successful the routing of the request to the respect to microservices will be done it's not that we are directly hitting the microservice the moment you add the security module your sick your application your microservice will be secured so that it is going through all these filters like like the authentication we have the authorization as well right so the uh, authentication authorization and other security features how to what are those and how to implement them we will talk about in the uh, next videos so that's all for today in the next video we will talk about implementing that what is authentication and how we can implement the authentication feature that's all for today thank you for watching please give it a like share and subscribe to my channel thank you